I know you guys are dying to hear how I did on my Finish 5 by Fall tag, so I'm going to share my progress with you right now. I was not able to film this on the actual first day of fall, which I believe was September 22nd, but I'm only a few days late, so no big deal. If you have not seen my Finish 5 by Fall tag, I will link it below. And um, basically the premise is you pick five products out of your makeup collection and try to finish it before the first day of fall. So I started it a bit late, so I think I started it around the end of August, so I only had about four weeks to finish up the products. So unfortunately, I did not finish all of the products that I set out to finish. Now, I did manage to finish a couple of the products, which I will share with you guys. I also managed to lose one product. I don't really know how it happened. I mean, I kind of can guess how it happened, but I'll explain that in a few seconds. So first of all, I will start with the products that I did finish. So the first one is my Laura Mercier uh, Loose Setting Powder in Beige. And um, this, I actually didn't have as much product in here as I thought, like once I started using it every single day to set my makeup, I actually went through it pretty quickly. And um, there is still a little bit of product in here, but I would pretty much consider this done. And it's actually very funny because the sifter completely comes off now because I lost even more of the um, sides here. So this just comes completely off. And as you can see, um, I have done a pretty good job at using it up. So I can probably get maybe one or two uses out of this, but I think I would still consider this as being used up. I think I did pretty well in using this consistently over the past like month and a bit. The other product I used up um, is the Burberry Lip Glow in Copper. So this is how much I have left. Again, I have a little bit left. I mean, I can still use it and there is still some product there, but it's kind of very uncomfortable to apply because um, the rim hits the lips and it kind of just like ends up scratching your lips but um, I would consider this used up I, I'm pretty proud of myself for pretty much using it up and uh, again I wore this pretty much every single day over the past like month and a bit the product that I ended up losing is actually the other lippy I was trying to use up it was the Giorgio Armani Rouge d'Armani sheer in number 301 I think I think it's number 301, um, but it's basically a really pretty coral color and I don't know how I lost it. I remember using it for a couple of weeks and then I went out for lunch one day at work and I had it in my pocket and I guess, I don't know, it fell out of my pocket when I was sitting at our table. I don't really know how. I mean, the pockets in most of my work pants are pretty shallow and they have silk lining, so uh, it's very easy to lose things in my pockets. But uh, yeah, so I just remember coming back to my office after lunch and not being able to find it. So I have no idea where it ended up, which I'm really sad about because, um, you know, I really did like that lipstick. And also on a more shallow note, I was very close to finishing it off. So I'm sad that I can't show it in this video as, you know, proof of that I finished it. But I ended up losing it before I finished the entire tube. So it's unfortunate, but I guess things happen. <laughs> the other two products that I set out to finish, but did not finish. The first one is NARS Laguna, which is a bronzer. So when I first started using this, I had a little bit of pan showing. And as you can see, there's quite a bit more pan showing. So, I mean, I knew I wasn't going to be able to finish this in a month, but I did put a nice dent in it. So I will continue using it, but I'm gonna move on to maybe some other bronzers that I kind of missed using during the past month. And then the last product I was trying to finish, which I honestly I can't even tell if I put a dent in this because um you know, I wasn't really using it as much as I should have been, but that's mainly because I typically use this as a setting powder. So this is the um, Hourglass Dim Light Ambient Lighting Powder. Um, but because I had that Laura Mercier one, I kind of just put this on the back burner and I would only use this maybe to highlight some areas. So I wasn't using it um, as much as I typically would. Uh, so that's probably why I didn't even hit pan on this, which I'm actually very shocked about, but I will definitely continue to use this because it's one of my favorite um, setting powders or powders in general, really. So that is it. That's my update to my Finish 5 by Fall tag. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'm definitely going to try to finish up these last two products because um, it actually feels really good to use up products that you bought <laughs> um, because I have so much 
so many products in my collection that I kind of forget about so I'm definitely gonna start shopping my stash and anyway hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next video bye